From a creeper who tricked women into physical examinations to a man who learned to perform medical procedure from YouTube, we count eight strange cases of ordinary people pretending to be doctors. How's it going? I'm Danger Dolan. I'm here to decipher some random things I found on the internet the other day that I think you might be interested in. Number eight. In the 90s, Australian woman Zora Zakardas made a very healthy living pretending to be a psychiatrist. Her clients would charge thousands of dollars to hear her very questionable advice, but she was eventually caught and arrested, only to get out of jail and immediately do the exact same thing. In the late 2000s, she started telling friends she was a medical intern. They claimed to have no reason not to believe her, because apparently her history of lying about this exact thing didn't count. Nora performed physical examinations on her friends, prescribed them drugs, and tricked hospital staff into allowing her to watch procedures. Her own doctor even promised her a job once she finished med school. Nora eventually became unstuck when the suspicious mother of a patient called the New South Wales Medical Board and discovered Nora had no medical training. She was sentenced to nine months in prison in 2011. Number seven. Leander Tomarkin was a Swiss university student dropout who told everyone he had a doctorate in medicine and that he himself cured typhus, tuberculosis, meningitis, and malaria. He initially gained fame when he offered to cure Pope Benedict XV's pneumonia in 1922. The Pope died before he could cure it, but it led to Tamarkin being able to convince Albert Einstein to become a member of his fake medical conference, for which he had no training and lied about everything. Hey guys, I invented the smartphone, also cement. And tomorrow, I'm hosting a Skype call with Barack Obama to discuss my plans for a fucking time machine. Number six. Despite having no medical training, Keith Allen Barton from California told many people he could cure cancer and HIV. He claimed to have 200 doctors on staff and surgeons located in Tijuana. Most would have ordinarily seen through his bullshit, but the patients who were contacting him were desperate, willing to try anything to beat their terminal illnesses, which is fair enough. Keith also shared his name with an actual doctor practicing in California, which made him more convincing. Among his many crimes, Keith convinced a woman suffering from an autoimmune disease to have a section of her jaw surgically removed. He then charged her $32,000 for a treatment that had no effect. Of course, it didn't have any effect. It was a fucking jaw! It's like trying to fix a scab by removing someone's leg. And another woman was told that her and her two children's HIV would be cured. She paid him $18,000 and her nine-year-old daughter died from poor treatment. Probably because he tried to remove her fucking jaw. Keith Allen Barton was eventually exposed by an undercover officer. He was then injected with cancer and HIV as punishment. Not really, but I wish it were true. Number five. In 2015, 25-year-old Michael Camillo Precht from Malta was charged with posing as a doctor after he fooled three models into letting him examine them naked. Michael told the models he was setting up a Lifeguard Academy website and that he wanted to hire them. He claimed his insurance company required medical checkups, but hey, no worries ladies, he happens to be a doctor and can do the examinations himself. Oh, convenient. After putting his greasy paws all over their oily bodies, Michael wrote, You need a boyfriend who gives you a massage every day on his fake medical report. The women, who were, you know, shocked, immediately took the note to police and Michael was jailed for two years and fined £2,329. He now gets all the physicals he wants in jail from Bubba. Number four. Two-time divorcee Tammy McCreary thought she'd hit the jackpot when she met Eric Petit. Eric was a former doctor who was supposedly taking a break from practicing medicine while he got over the death of his two sons. After getting married, Tammy dropped Eric off at his supposed hospital job, waving goodbye as he went into work. Of course, Eric was no doctor and had never been to medical school. He'd once watched an episode of ER, but he didn't like it very much. In May 2008, he was arrested for impersonating a doctor. He'd been hanging around in waiting rooms and doctor's lounges, stealing hospital property and hitting on women. 
Tammy also discovered that Eric's two sons were alive and well, and that her new husband had been having an affair with a woman at the hospital. Eric pled guilty to theft and identity fraud in 2009. Number 3. O'Neill Ron Morris was a transgender woman with no medical training who specialised in giving women injections of cement and patching it up with super glue and cotton balls. Operating under the alias Duchess, she visited patients wearing scrubs and a stethoscope and injected a concoction of fixer flat, rubber cement, mineral oil and an industrial sealant. The wounds were then closed up and somehow her illegal business thrived from 2007 to 2011. Unfortunately, the results for patients were disastrous. One paid 3000 bucks to have the toxic concoction injected into her face and she developed a massive pus filled blister. She said she felt like a monster, was afraid to leave the house and is still permanently scarred. O'Neill was arrested for practicing medicine without a license and manslaughter. Number 2 Because this guy loves and wants to help people, ex-con turned fake doctor Rick Van Thiel ran an illegal medical facility out of a Las Vegas trailer after learning how to perform surgery from fucking YouTube videos. He claimed to have been studying medicine for 30 years, but didn't bother formalizing it with an actual degree, and instead watched videos and tried to do the thing he saw. Badly, of course. He has 30 felony counts for practicing medicine without a license, and was accused of performing gruesome abortions inside his trailer. He also has a history of assault and burglary. Well, this guy's boyfriend material, right? I would invite him over for dinner. 10 out of 10 would not murder you in your sleep. Number one. With an intricate web of lies, Jean-Claude Romand posed as a doctor for 18 years. To support his lifestyle, Romand convinced his wife's parents to sell their apartment and give him money to invest. He then stole money from his own parents and secret lover. When they asked for their money back, he did the only logical thing possible. He beat his wife to death with a rolling pin and shot his two children in the head. And the next day, instead of feeling remorse and a little bit of sadness, he drove over to his parents' house, he had a nice dinner with them. He then shot them to death. And he shot their dog too because, Jesus Christ, the dog knows too much, I don't fucking know. So when returning home, he tried escaping his predicament by taking a handful of sedatives, setting the house on fire and falling asleep. However, he survived both, because being a murdering, lying monster surely doesn't deserve a fiery death or anything. He was soon after arrested, convicted, and given a life sentence though, which isn't that bad. It's on par with a fiery death, so I like that. That's it for this countdown, and have a go- ...scar on his cheek. Well, that's how you know he's a bad guy. Police searched for his kidnapper for a month, but eventually when they checked the security footage from his hometown, they grew suspicious. They re-questioned him and he admitted he faked it in order to get out of going to the dentist. You know, he probably had some cavities. Sometimes I thought about it too.